Okay, it's going. Okay. So you open up a file, and you pick which type of operation you want to do. If general is turning, grooving, threading, we're just going to pick general, number one. We're going to pick an OD process, number one. And now you simply put in the geometry that you want to start with. I'm going to start at a two inch diameter and start at the face, which is zero. We hit set. Now you simply pick the direction that you want to go. I'm going to go four to go straight back. And I want to go one inch. Set. I want to go up at an angle. Now it will either calculate the angle, you just tell it two things of the triangle. If I want to go 33 and a half degrees, up to 2.5, set. I want to go back to two inches. And I'll go up to a four inch diameter, set. Shape in, it drops you into a tool screen. You give it information like how much you want to leave in X, which is this, how much you want to leave in Z, which is fine. Hit tool auto, it pulls out of the library. You have a chance to adjust your feeds and speeds and depths of cut right here. You hit set, that process is now done. And that highlighted area right there is what we just did. Now to do a milling operation, you simply pick milling. We're gonna do an end face item. Pick the type of operation that you wanna do. We're gonna pick side milling. And then pick your shape. It can be any of these. The part I've got is a circle. We're gonna do a polygon just to see how easy a polygon is. Number nine. Do you want to output it in X and Y, or do you want to output it in X and C? I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, number two, number C. What type of shape do I want? It has several built in. I'm going to go ahead and pick number three for a hex. That's a very common shape. Where do we want it? Well, I want to go ahead and put that. It's just a hair off center. We'll say it's a quarter inch off center in X and it's there in zero, okay? Now, how big is the is the hex? It asks you various questions on how to do it, okay? We're gonna go ahead and say that it's uh, 0.25. Corner radius, do you want the actual radius on the hex? We're gonna leave that off for now. Where on the part do we want it? We'll leave it at zero and set. Now you give it certain information such as how deep is the feature, we're going to say that that's 0.25, we're going to tell it zero, we're going to tell it an approach point of 0.1 with a half inch cutting allowance. How much do you want to leave for a finished stock on your face and sides? We're going to go ahead and cancel those, we just want to do it the one time. We want to chamfer it. If we want to make extra of them, we can, but we're going to leave that alone for now. We're going to hit Tool Auto. It'll pull up a tool. If we don't like any of those tools, we can actually have a tool library that we can go select from. In this case, We can just pick a different tool. And it's giving me problems. The machine isn't fully set up with its right. tool library, That's so. Fine. If you don't like that process, we can just get rid of it, cancel, set, and now it's gonna lie. give me issues. I don't have a chamfer mill built in yet. So. And just that quick was able to create the program. Can you import CAD uh, the CAD in? You can, as an option, you can import DXF uh, okay. geometry. What that usually? Uh, like AutoCAD, it's a. Uh, yeah, I know what DXF okay. is. So. Okay.